Hello, welcome to our Recap Plus channel with me, Matthew. Today we will watch a recap movie called The Guest, released in 2014. This is a spoiler content video. So please turn on the subtitle and let's start the story. The film starts by introducing Laura Peterson, a grieving mother who has lost her son, Caleb, a soldier in the war in Afghanistan. Laura is overwhelmed with sorrow when she receives a visit from David Collins, a former U.S. Army sergeant who claims to have been friends with Caleb during their service in Afghanistan. David's purpose for the visit is to fulfill Caleb's last wish, which was to convey his love and sentiments to his family. Laura, moved to tears by her son's final message, welcomes David warmly and expresses her gratitude for delivering the message. She invites him to stay at their house for as long as he wishes. While Laura and David engage in a casual conversation, Laura's daughter, Anna, makes an appearance as she prepares to leave for work. Laura introduces David to Anna before she departs. Meanwhile, Caleb's younger brother, Luke, is still at school, where he leads a solitary existence and is frequently subjected to bullying by his classmates. Upon returning home, Luke conceals the bullying by attributing the bruises on his face to a football mishap. David, introduced as Caleb's friend, takes an interest in Luke and inquires about the bruise on his face. Shortly after, Spencer, Laura's husband, arrives home and, like his wife, extends a warm welcome to David. He also offers David the same hospitality, allowing him to stay as long as he desires. Spencer engages in a conversation with David, confiding in him about work-related issues. Meanwhile, Anna confides in her boyfriend, Zeke, about David. The following day, David surprises Luke by picking him up from school. David doubts Luke's explanation for the bruises on his face and insists on confronting the bullies. Luke points out the students who tormented him, leading David and Luke to a bar where David attempts to diminish the bullies' self-esteem by purchasing expensive drinks for them. When the bullies react with indignation by pouring drinks on David, he takes matters into his own hands, resorting to physical confrontation. Subsequently, David employs his knowledge of the law and bribery to persuade the bartender not to report the altercation. David then encourages Luke to stand up to his bullies. The narrative shifts to Anna and David attending a Halloween party hosted by one of Anna's friends. David is introduced to Anna's boyfriend, Zeke, as well as her friends Kristen and Craig. David's impressive demeanor endears him to Anna's friends, forging quick friendships. During the party, Kristen's ex-boyfriend disrupts the gathering, demanding her attention despite her rejection due to his rude behavior. David intervenes to protect Kristen and successfully removes her ex-boyfriend after a physical altercation. Inspired by David's heroic actions, Kristen takes him to her room, and they spend time together. Following their conversation, David approaches Craig, inquiring about the purchase of a firearm. Craig inquires about the purpose of the weapon, and David, claiming to be a soldier with an affinity for guns, requests assistance in acquiring one. Craig offers to introduce David to a former gun dealer and instructs him to prepare the necessary funds. After arranging a meeting with Craig and the gun dealer, David and Anna head home. During their journey, Anna offers to create a compilation CD for David. The following day, Anna becomes suspicious of David and overhears a strange phone conversation he has. Growing wary of him, Anna decides to investigate David Collins, who is now residing in her home. Her first step is to contact the military base to verify David's identity, and the military assures her that they will conduct an investigation and share the findings with her. In response to this development, a private company called KPG, led by Major Carver, assembles a special forces team to head to the Peterson's residence. It is eventually revealed that the real David Collins has died, and the person currently living with the Petersons is an imposter. However, his true intentions for infiltrating the Peterson family remain unclear. The story then shifts to David, who is in the process of purchasing a firearm from a contact known to Craig. Craig accompanies him for company. After displaying the money, the arms dealer presents David with several pistols to test. Unexpectedly, David has no intention of buying a gun, instead, he proceeds to kill both the arms dealer and Craig, taking all the firearms for himself. Meanwhile, Anna receives confirmation from the military base that David Collins living in her house is an imposter since the real David Collins is deceased. Anna promptly shares this information with her parents, but they remain skeptical and choose to believe David's persuasive words, much to Anna's frustration. She is determined to expose David's true nature and decides to steal his cell phone to photograph the list of recent phone numbers he has dialed. Later, Anna receives a call from Zeke, who informs her that someone has killed Craig and framed him for the crime. Simultaneously, it is revealed that Spencer's boss at work has mysteriously died, resulting in Spencer receiving the long-awaited promotion. In the evening, during a family dinner with David present, Anna discloses the true identity of the imposter, 
David Collins, to her family. However, David manipulates Laura and Spencer with his convincing words and displays his soldier identity necklace, causing them to dismiss Anna's concerns once again. Frustrated, Anna is determined to expose the full extent of David's deception. The next day, as she drops Luke off at school, Anna enlists her younger brother's help to uncover the phone number David dialed on his cell phone. Meanwhile, while helping Laura with the laundry, David heads inside to fetch the remaining laundry. Anticipating Carver's arrival, David attacks Carver and his special forces team as they question Laura about his whereabouts. A fierce shootout ensues, resulting in David sustaining a gunshot wound to the thigh. However, he swiftly tends to his injury and eliminates all the special forces members except for Carver. David encountered Laura, who had taken refuge in the kitchen. She was bewildered by the people pursuing him and inquired about the situation, but David chose not to respond. Realizing that his cover had been compromised, he fatally stabbed Laura with a kitchen knife and hastily departed. During his escape, a cloud of dust obstructed David's vision, leading to a collision with another car being driven by Spencer, who was on his way home. David proceeded to kill Spencer by shooting him in the head. Meanwhile, Carver, despite having a damaged car tire, continued his pursuit of David. He arrived at the accident scene but found David's whereabouts unknown. Carver enlisted the assistance of a passerby, borrowing his car as he urgently needed to pick up Anna and Luke to ensure their safety before David could reach them and pose a threat. Carver swiftly collected Anna from the restaurant where she worked. He disclosed his identity to her and delivered the devastating news of her parents' demise at the hands of David. Carver further explained that David was a test subject in a military medical experiment, programmed to eliminate anyone who posed a risk to his identity. He was unlikely to cease his actions even if he desired to do so. Devastated by the loss of her parents, Anna promptly contacted her younger brother, who was preparing for a Halloween party at school. After Carver and Anna left the restaurant, David arrived at the scene in a car. He inquired about Anna's whereabouts from Kristen but ultimately shot her and initiated an explosion that engulfed the restaurant, deeming Kristen suspicious. Subsequently, David made his way to Luke's school with the intent to kill him. On the other hand, Carver and Anna reached Luke's school ahead of his arrival and entered a haunted house set up for Halloween. Inside, they eventually located Luke, who was cleaning the area. Anna embraced her brother with immense relief upon finding him safe. However, the lights suddenly went out, and eerie music began playing, David was in the audio room, utilizing the compilation CD Anna had given him. He had also disabled the lights and intended to eliminate them all on the spot. The trio urgently followed Luke's teacher's guidance to flee the premises. David, who had anticipated their escape route, confronted them, resulting in the fatal shooting of Luke's teacher. Witnessing this, Carver instructed Anna and Luke to seek an alternative exit while he confronted David alone. Despite his rank as a major, Carver was unable to halt David, who was also a highly trained soldier and ultimately succumbed to David's lethal actions. Meanwhile, Anna and Luke managed to locate an exit, but David thwarted their escape by securing it with chains, and trapping them inside. Anna made the decision to confront David, urging Luke to hide. Initially hesitant, Luke relented when Anna disclosed that their parents had been killed by David, and she sought revenge. Luke complied with his sister's instructions, concealing himself while clutching the knife David had provided just in case. In a nutshell, Anna confronted David and discharged Carver's firearm at him. However, David managed to rise and attack her from behind, stabbing her in the leg. Anna collapsed to the ground as David attempted to strangle her. She struggled to aim the gun at David, but it misfired, damaging a light fixture and igniting a fire. Concerned for his sister's safety, Luke rushed to Anna's aid. He promptly stabbed David twice with a knife, liberating Anna from his grasp. Rather than harboring anger, David expressed pride in Luke, affirming that he had done the right thing, and even gave him a thumbs up before losing consciousness. Subsequently, the police arrived at the school, accompanied by ambulances and firefighters. Anna and Luke, both traumatized by the harrowing ordeal, were rescued. While resting in the ambulance, they overheard firefighters reporting that only two bodies had been discovered. Observing a limping firefighter, Anna and Luke realized it was David, who had cleverly disguised himself as a firefighter to covertly flee the scene. To watch more video like this, click on the videos on your screen and don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last I will say stay safe and stay healthy. See you next videos.